Hey guys, Beta One Studios right here with a quick Photoshop tutorial over a problem I recently had with stretched out save files. So basically I was working on a simple Photoshop project and when I went to save it out as a PNG file, it came out strangely distorted and stretched out. If this sounds like your current predicament, stick around. I'm about to show you just how easy it is to fix. Alright, so here we are inside of Photoshop, and this is actually the project I was referring to earlier. It's kind of like a desktop background for myself, if you will. Looks perfectly normal, and now that I've finished working on my project, it's time to save it out. I go up to File, Save As, and I'll just name it 1, and boom, all done. And now we open up our brand new, super cool desktop background. Oh no! Why is it all stretched out? And now you would normally proceed down the path of Googling for a fix to this problem, which would take you another 10 minutes. Great. That's another 10 minutes you could have spent working on more Photoshop projects, or watching more Beta 1 Studios tutorials, or eating ice cream. No, but seriously, it's a good thing you found this tutorial because the fix for this problem could be way easier than you might have expected. More specifically, the pixel aspect ratio of your project may be off. What that basically means is that each individual pixel, every single tiny little point that makes up your image can be either square or rectangular. And if you save out your perfectly normal project and it comes out stretched like this, your pixels are probably rectangular. So let's make them square, shall we? Let's go up to the view menu and take a look. Okay, first red flag, pixel aspect ratio correction is turned off. This means that if your pixels are rectangular, it won't show up on your project at all, and this entire time you've been working off of a project with rectangular pixels without even knowing it. So if it looks normal right now, it'll probably look stretched when you save it out. To fix this, let's turn correction on and see what the real project looks like. And that is definitely not what I wanted to see. But don't worry, we can just go straight into the pixel aspect ratio drop down here. And it looks like I accidentally set my ratio to DVC Pro, which is actually one of the standard video formats. Not sure why I did that, but let's just roll with it. Let's click on the square setting so that our pixels are nice and square as intended. Now let's try saving this project one more time. And there it is, in all of its unstretched glory. Now I will admit that in order to make this tutorial, I actually had to reverse engineer the problem I was having, so I conveniently didn't have to resize anything in my project when I switched to the square pixels. If you end up having this problem, you may have to resize a thing or two to make your project look just the way you want it to. Also, to prevent this from happening in the future, be sure to check your pixel aspect ratio whenever you first start a project. For instance, if I just create a new project here by pressing Ctrl N, just make sure you have square pixels selected under this dropdown, and everything should turn out just fine. So that's about all I've got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it, and I will catch you guys next time.